Hello and welcome to On the Road number 24. I know everybody's kind of like flipping out because they're all like, oh my god, what happened? How'd you play yesterday? You didn't post a video. Um, no, I know there aren't that many people that are all flipping out, but <laughs> uh, I didn't play yesterday actually. I um, My lower back's been a little bit sore. I think my swing's kind of been out of whack for the couple last couple weeks. If you've been watching, you, you've probably heard that a little bit in the videos. I uh, haven't felt real confident with my swing lately. So anyway, uh, I thought I'd take a couple days off, relax, recover, and work on my swing. And uh, I actually hit the ball really, really well yesterday afternoon. Um, went back to a couple of old feelings, old thoughts, and uh, it helped quite a bit. Um, but I did have, uh, I'm actually this morning heading, headed down to Long Beach, which is like 30 minutes, uh, maybe 45 minutes south of Santa Monica where where I live and um, it's also the home of Snoop Dogg so it's, it's like duh of course I'm going to Long Beach anyway this guy uh, there's a really good teacher down here named Dana Dahlquist and he works with um, he's kind of partnered with Grant Waite who uh, played on the tour for quite some time uh, I also know he has some affiliations with or used to have some affiliations with Stack and Tilt um, and, and those are the last guys that I worked with. Uh, it was probably about a year, uh, maybe a year ago. Uh, it was the last time I really worked with anyone. And I went out to Las Vegas to have, uh, like, to a golf school with Mike and Andy. Um, and I really liked a lot of the things they said. I've always, uh, you know, in the last three or four years, I thought that um, I wanted to learn more about Stack and Tilt because there are a lot of things that I see in their players that uh, I really like. Their impact alignments. Uh, there's nobody. There's nobody who hits the ball better, strikes the ball more solidly than the players that do um, the stack and tilt stuff. And I think you know it's uh, probably extremely misunderstood. But um, if you just look at you know look at their players and look at their impact angles, you'll see that they're really really solid. So anyway, uh, I also think you know not only just like help with my golf swing. I think it'd probably be better for me to have someone to uh, talk to, you know, like when I'm not hitting it good. I, if you know me, you know I've changed my golf swing in the last five years, probably five times, and I have a tendency to tinker a little bit, and I think it might be good uh, for me to have someone to m maybe just keep me conformed to a baseline or keep me uh, headed in the same direction. Uh, I don't think the golf swing is is the most important element of uh, playing good golf, but I do think it would be probably beneficial for me to have some uh, straightforward approach or some, you know, going forward kind of approach rather than uh, just just kind of um, guessing all the time. I, I actually, in the last year, my swing has, has really become very, very consistent. I've, if, I've modeled it mostly, uh, I'd say it's kind of a hybrid between a uh, stack and tilt swing and Steve Stricker. Um, I think probably there isn't a more consistent ball striker on tour than Steve Stricker and so I've just been modeling my swing after his and it's been very helpful. Um, it's I've hit the ball better in the last year than I've ever hit it but um, again I just think it'd be good for me to have someone to, to bounce ideas off of and, and stay in contact with. So that's what I'm doing. I'm headed to Long Beach. Uh, it is uh, July, August uh, eight, 18th maybe or somewhere around there um, my next tournament's next week Wednesday um, I'll play that one day event at Brookside in Pasadena and then I'm going to uh, there's an event a Pepsi Tour event at um, I don't know somewhere in Arizona I think Phoenix or something Greyhawk Golf Course I think or Greyhawk Country Club or whatever it's called Anyway, that's what I've got going on uh, next week and the following week. And then, um, yeah, that's about it for right now. So that's it. On the road, number 24. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.